when it comes to Aussie built power catamarans, Sailfish have established themselves as a premium builder with a fastidious approach to boat building. As a result, their finishes are impeccable and their solutions innovative and they have a broad family appeal. But can a 9.4 metre vessel really straddle the fence between family comfort and fishing fun? Jump aboard the Sailfish 3000 Platinum Sport and let's find out. I'm sitting on the back of the Sailfish 3000 Platinum Sport here with one of the directors of the business, Darren. And Darren, can you just tell us how many, or how long rather, you've been in business with Sailfish? Uh, Sailfish was established in January 1993 uh, up in Austinville, which is northern New South Wales. Uh, we have a purpose-built factory, uh, which uh, we manufacture the boats, we spray paint the boats and also fit engines, electronics in. And how many boats do you produce per year out of the factory? Uh, between 25 to 30, depending on the size. The larger the boat, the more time given, so that's roughly the numbers. And finally, given the customisable nature of these boats, how involved do customers actually get in the process? Uh, customers get very involved at the start, choosing all the, the options, uh, cabin layouts, and then when the boat's up to cabin stage, they invite to the factory. Uh, they then go through, we can make some minor changes, add some extra rails on, just to make sure it's all right before it goes into paint. Darren, thanks for your time. Lovely to get your insight into the Sailfish brand. I'm here with Shane, the owner of this Sailfish 3000 Platinum Sport. And Shane, can you tell us a little bit about your journey to owning this particular vessel? Sure. So, uh, been boating all my life. And uh, as my kids got a little bit older, we gravitated towards trailer boats. So we had a couple of cruise crafts um, over the last three or four years, which were both powered by Yamaha. Wanted to stick with Yamaha, uh, but wanted something that was capable of overnighting, a um, little bit more comfortable, a uh, little bit more hardcore fishing as well. Mm -hmm. So we found sailfish ticked a lot of those boxes, locally produced product um, only an hour away from home. And that allowed us to really get to know the boat, uh, know the people that were building it, and they allowed us to do a lot of customizations. Just little things like grab rails where we wanted them, um, the slides for the fridge and the generator where we wanted them, uh, extra drawers, all those little things that make a day out fishing or a day out cruising a lot more yeah, pleasurable. Keeping family members and those fishing fanatics in the family happy is a very difficult task. In fact, the two can be diametrically opposed. One is looking for comfort and a smooth ride, the other rugged dependability and plenty of room to move. And while this is a good looking boat, it's no shrinking violet. In fact, more important than the looks really is the space that's available on board. And there is an enormous amount of it in the cockpit and that runs well forward. The twin hull design allowing that beam to run the full length of the boat. And that's an excellent thing if you're a keen angler. This boat also comes in a beam configuration of 2.8 metres, and that does one thing for you. It allows you to be able to tow this boat with a large vehicle. It comes in under four and a half tonne, which means hitting the road and getting to the best fishing spots is well within reach. On this particular boat, the cockpit space is enormous. There's plenty of room for entertaining here. And what's more, the sides are nice and high, which means it's very kid safe. Put a table here, a couple of fold out chairs, and you'll be set for the entire day. And those keen anglers will really appreciate the standard rod holders. All too often they're an optional extra, but on the Sailfish 3000 Platinum Sport, they're a standard offering. As too are two large kill tanks under the floor, twin live wells in the transom. We've got a sink behind me here. And we've also got a fantastic bait prep station located on the starboard side. If you're an angler and you think the cockpit area is going to be rough and ready, think again. It would be remiss of me not to mention the quality of the build in this particular area. The paintwork is second to none and the world's barely perceptible throughout the entire boat. And for entertainers, there's plenty of quality to sink your teeth into too. Corrie and bench tops, sink, slide out barbecue and fridge and this fantastic servery style window which lets your guests communicate with people in the cockpit and also creates a nice, light, airy feel. As a result, this is a solid boat. It wraps you like a warm blanket and keeps you immersed no matter what your particular flavour. Whether you're fishing or entertaining, everything you need is located down here in the cockpit. 
Space isn't confined just to the cockpit either. With that beam running well forwards, the cabin also features plenty of room. And some clever design elements have been used by Sailfish to really deliver on that flow that you so need in a boat like this. Got a single helm seat here on the starboard side, and behind that is a large single door walkway. It's wide and spacious and easy access through to the cabin. You've got an L-shaped lounge on the port side, allows your guests to sit there and enjoy a little bit of banter while you're driving. And then you've got a cabin and a head located in the bow. In my experience, most owners with a berth don't really use it to its full potential. But this is an owner's boat and he plans to spend several days on board at a time. And if that is your type of ownership, then this cabin is gonna be more than enough. It's spacious, it's wide, and there's plenty of room down there for two people. If you're looking for a second berth, the L-shaped lounge can turn into another bed. This table drops down and there's an infill here. It is triangular, but it's certainly long enough and comfortable enough to have a good night's sleep. On the port side, there's a shared toilet and shower facility, and that's perfect if you really need a nice wash down at the end of the day. What appealed to the owner of this particular boat is the fast boil hot water system. That is plumbed to several locations on the boat and also the shower. It means you can have a hot shower at the end of the day and come out feeling completely refreshed. Where these boats excel is in their stability, particularly at rest. You've essentially got two separate hulls with a platform in between and that stops that tipping that mono hulls can get when they're sitting still on a mooring or at anchor. And if you're a fisherman, that makes fishing very easy. But if you're someone who hasn't been on a boat a lot, it makes the ride and also the rest very comfortable indeed. And while you're underway, these hulls trap a cushion of air, creating a very soft ride. They're also very efficient. In fact, more efficient than a mono hull. It means you're using less fuel to get where you need to go. And that can be only a good thing for any type of boating. There are plenty of advantages, but it is important to remember that driving a cat hull can take a little bit of getting used to. These hulls certainly turn flatter than the mono hull equivalent, but that said, once you get it dialed in, you're probably never gonna go back to a mono hull boat. And when you really wanna get up and boogie, twin 250 horsepower Yamahas do that with a top speed of 42 knots. And that's impressive for a boat that is this large. It really gets it onto the plane efficiently, and you can also run on one engine. So if you do have a little bit of an issue outside and you need to get back in, you know that you can do it, even if one engine completely stops. To further enhance your driving experience, the helm layout is very simple and easy to use. We've got a large screen here, it's a Garmin in this instance, and below that you've got all your diagnostics for your outboard engines. It's very easy to see what's going on at a glance and all of the controls fall within reach very simply. It is a beautiful boat to drive. The beauty of the Sailfish 3000 Platinum Sport is its customizability. Owners can really get involved in the build process and also, if you have an idea, Sailfish can execute it. And that's what makes this boat capable of multiple uses, entertaining and fishing. Owners can set it up how they like they can get rid of elements they don't think they're gonna need, and at the end of the day, have a well-rounded and very capable package. I'm Dom Wiseman, here for Club Marine TV. We'll catch you on the next episode.